It's yet another day here at Resort and we are talking entertainment and guess who I have today? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I have looked for her like everywhere, every corner of South Sudan and today oh I'm glad God. to sit just next to the music Shankara herself. There are a lot of questions that need a lot of answers and she's here to answer the questions. Hi, Hi Lady Lee. Shankara. How are you sweetheart? You look calm and you're not this calm. <laughs> I know. I know in my real life this is how I am. Kindly talk to the people watching us right now. Yo, preparing this and one come boom, it's your girl Lady Kola, the music Shankara. As you know, the queen of Shama machine she's finally here <laughs> she's finally on the youth vibe guys i do not know where to start from but uh where do you get your energy do you smoke do you booze do you wh what do you use like you, you're so energetic both on stage and on set right now uh actually this is how i am i don't booze but i smoke any kind of the smokers <laughs> she's a chimney a jama <laughs> Are you a chimney? But uh, to be sincerely and honest, mm. it is just not on my blood. This is how I am. This is how you are. I got to know mm. Lady Cola from um, a song titled Dugukas. Yeah, it is. It was is that my the second, song that brought you to the limelight? Second song by the way my first song was, was mata food to fishing mt7 the legend himself pick up to yourself yeah uh the second song it is do because you know what i know about myself mm. when i came to the shed for the industry i came with mata food too, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. i like i saw people like putting attention with that girl so uh i sit down i told my sister like Sham. She was not my manager, but she's one of the team music Shankara. Okay. I told her that, you know, let us start the industry together. Be one of my team and let mm -hmm. us push. She started laughing at me and said, Hey, Kola, are you serious? I told her, like, we will make it. The time, the time Lady Kola came to the scene, there were a lot of uh, names making rounds on social media, on all media houses, on uh, almost all radio stations, the likes of... Uh, Nita baby, we had Queen Z, we had um, Madonita. Were you not scared of the competition by then? I'm not because I'm that one person who believes what she's doing. And you know, I know anyone have the part we play in the industry. Now, fast forward, um, I realized that you did a couple of uh, collabs. You did one with John Frog, oh, not John Frog. <laughs> Pardon me, guys. <laughs> Not John Frog, but John uh, Black. John Black. Yeah. You did uh, Iris Tanabe uh, with Weasel. And people speculated and said uh, you have a, a thing with uh, Weasel. We also saw it on your social media handles. Uh, you ha you hanging out with uh, the likes of Weasel. You have me another song. I know, right? Are you a thing? Uh, you know, in music, you have to create a game. Oh. It is not matter people to know your background or to know what is under the ground. Okay, let me clear the question. Is Lady Cola and Weasel seeing each other? We are like a family. We are a family, actually. Family, as in husband and wife or friends? Just a family. Hey. Everything is inside there. <laughs> <laughs> she did a song with uh, Cinderella Sanyu, and Cindy is one of the sensational female artists we have in, uh, in the East African region. Tell us about Mohaba. How do you connect with uh, uh, this Cindy? This was my first collab, I think, before John Blog, before Weasel, and, and I really appreciate her because maybe it was a big lack of me to have a collab with Cindy. She's she's one of the diva in Uganda. Mm. She's been there as a legend. She's star. I even I fear when like she accepted to do a collab. I was like, Hey, Kola, I'm going to make it because you're going to face the king herself. People said you used money to get these collabs. How true it is was that? It was a free collab, by the way. Wow. It was a free collab. You know, before I start a collab with any artist I collab with, mm. I create the friendship. Oh. And that's what make my collabs are all different from being promoted by their page mm. and all like you see there is there is a love there is it's not just a collab it's not a business money and this is how i am when i when i meet with cindy mm. we meet something like three months mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before even i ask her about the collab or yes. music mm. she's she asked me like are you an artist yeah i'm an artist from south sudan i really appreciate your work you're doing in uganda you're one of the legend mm. it is my pleasure if one day we enter to the studio wow wow, yeah. wow. now what makes um, Lady Cola stand out from all the 
the female artists in South Sudan. What is the secret behind Lady Cola's hypeness on stage or anywhere she goes? <laughs> Lady Gola what make her to be different. Mm -hmm. She's always her, the Shankara herself. You don't pretend. I don't pretend. And I always, my life is style. This is how I am. From home to the street to wow. the music industry. So you're you're the true definition of a street hustler. <laughs> <laughs> now fast forward. Be, um, before you got into management, um, did you have any manager before? This is your first management, Lucky Charm mani uh, a promotion company, right? Lucky Charm, she's one of my management since I started my music to 18. But, but you're officially under her right now. Yeah, I'm official under her, but nothing changed. It is, she's still in the team music Shankara. And I, under that team, I have a lawyer, Viola. I have Lucky Charm as the management. I have the camera guy. I have like, it is a set team. Now, I want to know something. Mm -hmm. How does it uh, feel like working with a close associate, more so your sister? How hard is it? You know, do, some people agree to disagree, yeah? Have you ever gotten some difficulties under this management since she's your sister, she's your elder sister, elder or younger sister? Younger. She's younger sister, her. yeah? How does it feel like working with a close associate like it is good because before being a music we have family mm -hmm. and she's my blood sister oh. uh, i think we always quarrel mm -hmm. we fight <laughs> but we know how to solve it sometimes we reach to the extent like my family mm -hmm. my mom my brothers we sit down and solve other things but under the ground down no one knows because it is a family issue so make it to be so easy even if on business when we call her she give me the respect because i'm her elder sister before being a celebrity <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you're still uh, watching the youth vibe right here on ct review well mm -hmm. we are broadcasting live at bros bros has a lot of uh, local delicacies if you are yearning for local dishes in south Sudan, please come to the riverside and uh, be served they have good hospitality there is an ample parking space good security at bros resort they also have entertainment on weekends please be at bros and be nowhere else now have you been in, in any beef rumor has it that you've been beefing I mary lot. boyoy and john frog tell us about that shenanigan please <laughs> even guys she was even behind bars <laughs> i don't know how she got out there out of that place you know the good thing about the beef mm -hmm. i've been in mm. i'm beefing for with the people who are not talented <laughs> Give me five. Oh, uh, Mary Boy. You know Mary Boy. Eh? Mm. I'm sorry to say this, but musically she's nothing. And I think even if you did not say through my eyes, you know, and I know. Okay, Young Black is one of the lucky artists we have in South Sudan. But it's not talent, but that John is Frog. luck. Yeah. So beefing with them is not musically. That's what I want to clear out to my fans. Beefing it's with them is stuff. not musically, and we are not competing. Oh, I'm not against them about their music. As long as people love their music, I'm okay, good with it. Who is your favorite artist in South Sudan? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from yourself, because of course self-love comes first, yeah? Male and I don't female. Want, I don't want to be selfish, but they are all my favorite. Uh -uh. As long as they spend their money to go to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lady Cola, there is something that, uh, as we are about to wind up this, um, there is something that has really um, triggered the industry. Why is it that um, there is no unity, first of all, in the entertainment sector? But when it when it comes to tragedy or problems in the industry that's when you see artists coming together must you all come together when there is a problem or what is not happening and how should we go about that what affect our industry mostly is that everyone want to have everything good by his own mm. and you know that will make us not to go ahead uh like you know the industry we're still standing we're still trying our best mm. and uh, what i want to let them know that before fighting ourselves mm. let us fight 
for the world to see us then we come because there is no money in the industry whatever yeah, we are spending true. whatever we are doing it is from our own pocket okay so we have a lot of issue people being sick and you know it is a very a shame when they come and put it in media that mm, artists mm. need to help yeah, yeah you know yeah. Mm. uh the, co the first question from the fan is that those artists being having a show uh, they have their management, they have their lifestyle. What about when they have an issue, they come to the media and they need help from people? That makes like... That's the disunity. There is a lot of things happening down there. And what is the artist union doing about this? I myself, I don't know if <laughs> there is artist union in South Sudan. <laughs> this girl is crazy. <laughs> and then she's a true definition of naughty. Some people call you naughty, rude. And, 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 and that's really, how I am. And that's what makes me to be different from others. <laughs> I love the confidence. <laughs> I just love the confidence. Oh, fast forward. What are some of your projects that you're working on? Uh, right now, mm. I have a lot of things. I have a You've lot been quiet, of anyway. big collabos. You've been so quiet. I have international collabos apart from Kampala. Oh, she has a song with Mudra, guys. I don't know whether it's released. Who told you that? I follow you. I'm your fan. Who told you that? I have a song. <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a international music. <laughs> Colobos coming soon. Yeah. Uh, apart from Kampala, I have with the Nigeria big artist, but I'm not going to announce the name. Please tell us. It is already done. Please but tell we're us. Just waiting for the video. I'm not going Guys, to tell you. Guys, let the youth boy be the first to um, unleash this. Please tell no, us. No, my manager will never allow it. They will arrest me <laughs> before they come to you. But uh, to all my fans, it's not because I'm quiet, but you know, good things need time. Yeah, and uh, as you know, I always give hit after hit after hit. I don't have a boring song. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I can attest. Ah. Ena was good. Mohaba was good. Dugo Cass was good. Mm -hmm. Hibo Ana. Hibo Ana, Hibo Ita. Hibo Ana. Hibo Ana with Coco San was good. Yeah. My so all time wait favorite. for the next step. You know, at the end of the year, I'm going to bless you with a hot song, but coming from me, a single. But it's that for from next year mm. you will hear a lot of lady caller things lady caller yeah someone asked asked me to ask you this question yeah i pray you answer now mm -hmm. someone asked and said help me ask lady caller should we expect any collabo between her and baby daddy uh, WJ, <laughs> should we expect anything? By the way, you asked me a question before. That's what someone asked. You asked me a question before, who is your favorite artist? And I did not answer. And you did uh, WJ is one of my favorite artists. It's not because a father of my child, uh -huh. but I love his music. How about the females? You know, he's talented and uh, female, female, female. <laughs> I love Quincy. Okay, is she's, it because she's, she's your friend? It's not because she's my friend, uh -huh. but you know me, I love struggling, okay? She's been a struggle of the industry when there is no any female artist who come on the show. True, true. She's been there fighting with the male artists when she's trying true. to represent us as a female. She plays a lot of role in South Sudan, that's mm. why I respect and I love her music. All right, give us an acapella of uh, my favorite, of course, Dugo Kass. Wala singa rakalana dugu na face Jibu marisa kalana silu wango Hey! Gumfo kalena dugu kais Ya! Gumfo kalena wazon raz Wala sijara ulifu zato istala Jibu marisa isala binga kakila Kali rasta ayyukonu zato disease Wala nwala nwala Asana kutu oman belaklis yomo This is Lady Kola, the queen of Shamashin It's treat You know what one Guys, I'm having fun. It's, I'm, re I'm already having fun. Having her on set is just enough for me. That is Lady Caller for you, the music Sankara signed. And uh, uh, Lucky Charm uh, Promotions Company. Yeah, she's actually the only artist signed under Lucky Charm. And to your surprise, Lucky Charm is the younger sister. So if the artist wants something, she'll be like, hey, yeah, young sister, bring something. <laughs> but I hope um, the management is going on well with uh, everything that uh, needs to be done to an artist. You know, there is a problem with management in South Sudan, whereby mm. someone just wants to manage you because they need a name. They're not providing a lot or oh, what is uh, expected of them. I'll give you an example of Uganda yeah for a manager to manage an artist like Kinky they need to house me they need to uh, um, transport me they need to give me allowances you get mm. 
I think that it's is not because she's my sister, mm -hmm. but uh, you've been seeing like Isham work when she's working with John Frog. Oh yeah, she lost a lot of her money. Yeah, uh, she spent on John Frog brand for taking him the label he is right now. So is now. that the reason she but, zeroed uh, to you as the sister? No, but mm. she never think that she want to benefit or to get something oh, to gain okay. for what she's doing because she never organized to John Frog any show or concert to get the money she spent on him. Okay, mm. so what I want to clear out is that Lucky Shem, she's one of the person who think like for tomorrow, not for today. Okay, mm. because you know very well if she spent on the artist like now as a um, her artist mm. not about sister or what but tomorrow she will get what she spent Definitely. but not for today so, so you need and that's to why you say on her page she's not she's beautiful yeah she is <laughs> and I think more yeah. than me but she doesn't have more photos to post she always posts her artists okay yeah so big up to you and i really appreciate the work and mm. the effort she's putting in the industry all right guys you heard it from uh music shankara i just call her shankara whenever i call her i'm like shankara <laughs> they always know me that i'm a girl who surprised them and uh, they know even if i'm quiet there is a lot of things coming out yo let me tell you guys there is ita madafa and mm. it is my first time to sing a meaningful song that people <laughs> so you appreciate mean you've been singing useless songs <laughs> No, I always satisfy the street. Oh, you know, those ghetto of mine. You're a street mine. hustler. Yeah. So, what I want to tell you guys, uh, support the industry. Not me as Lady Caller, but all the industry, male, female, because we need your support. Together we can make it. And uh, it is my pleasure to sit and talk with Kinky Love. You know, she's my favorite girl and she doesn't know. It's my oh, first, first know, time no. to tell her. Please bring her. Bring everyone is telling me in the industry, oh, <laughs> Binia Deta Dalla, she always show herself. She always show up. She doesn't give a damn. But Never know. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be fine. We are street hustlers. <laughs> yeah, but she's one of the presenter who we respect in the South Sudan industry. She always play her role to push South Sudan music industry. She give us like the love, even our own blood South Sudanese, they never did it. So please, follow Kiki Love in all our social media. This is true from the Shankara. Go and follow her. We are street hustlers. We are street hustlers. <laughs> Thank you so much. Every oh, I, I mean, I've lost words. Eh? Mm -hmm. I think I'm growing bananas on my head. But anywho, <laughs> we have to move regardless. We move guys that has been shankara she's crazy like you can see she's the only shankara you have in your country and i'm happy that the hair is decent today it's always like that straight hustler yeah she, she, she's a true definition of a straight hustler please follow support is always a language I, I usually sign out by saying support is a language all of us should speak a lot of people did not uh, believe in south sudan's a uh, talent but here we are she's representing the country she's gone places i mean she, 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 she had um, uh, different concerts both in Egypt, Khartoum, and she's soon going to Australia. Someone already told me, Gali. Yeah. But where are you going? To, uh, where are you getting honey, my news, by the way? Honey, I follow you. Uh, uh, I feel. Your social media <laughs> handles. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on uh, YouTube? Uh, Lady Cola in all the platforms. Mm -hmm. It's Lady Cola, YouTube, TikTok, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook. It's just Lady Cola. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, uh, I want to tell you guys, thank you for always supporting Lady Cola. Without you guys, I'm nothing. So, thank you for the love and I always appreciate and kneel down for the <laughs> support you're giving to your girl. All right. Uh, I sign out by saying big up to the only female oh my God. <laughs> promoter oh in my South God. Sudan. <laughs> yeah. The only female promoter we have in South Sudan, and that is none other than Lucky Chum. And the street hustler herself, she's a true definition of the street. I sign out. Thank you so much. My name is Kinky, and uh, this is the Youth Vibe. Bye-bye. Ciao. Adios. <laughs> <laughs>